It's the Happy Families Podcast. It's the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. G'day, this is Dr. Justin Coulson, the founder of happyfamilies.com.au, dad to six daughters, husband to one wife, and the parenting expert and co host on Channel 9's Parental Guidance, also the host of this podcast, the Happy Families Podcast. Thank you so much for listening and allowing me into your life to hopefully be useful in making your family happier. Right now, school holidays in Queensland, which means that I'm doing my best to spend as much time in the sunshine with Kylie and the girls as I can. Today on the Happy Families Podcast, a really special guest and somebody who's become a a personal friend and certainly a friend of the podcast, Amantha Imber. Dr. Amantha Imber uh, has a business called Inventium and uh, an absolutely fantastic podcast called How I Work. Amantha has got so much to offer the entire world. I love talking with her and she joins me for today's Happy Families Lightning Round podcast. So Amantha joins me for a lightning round. Amantha, you don't know what you're in for, do you? I'm scared. Should I be scared? (laughs) No, you'll be fine. Uh, Tell us uh, as we start this straight away, um, how many kids do you have and how old are they? I've got one daughter, Frankie, who is eight. Oh, well, that ruins my second question. Do you have a favourite child? Duh. (laughs) Oh, let me think about that. I think it's Frankie today, yes. Uh, Okay. Uh, Next question for you. Ideal number of kids? I am a very happy only child and I, I, I wanted one child. So that would be one? That would be one because I had such a positive experience. Um, you know, some days I go, oh, maybe it would have been nice to have more, but I did choose one. Okay. How do you rate yourself as a parent? Oh, God, there's always room for improvement. Um, I, th- I think so, so, so much about it. I see a psychologist to bounce around ideas with to be a better parent. So I think I, I, I'm quite obsessive about it um, in, in, in like I think a, a healthy way. But I would like to think because I think about it so much and read so many books about it, then maybe that makes me a little bit better than I think I am. Okay. Uh, what's something great that your parents did that you've tried to continue in your parenting? The unconditional love and support. That would be the biggest thing. I love it. Okay. Here's a tricky one. And this is particularly tricky because you're co-parenting. You and your partner are no longer together. Who's the better parent, you or your partner? <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, I love this question. I don't, I don't, <laughs> can I, it, can I answer this question without uh, alienating the other partner? Um, <laughs> all modesty aside, I think I'm doing pretty well. Well, you know, you should push that modesty aside. I just love asking that question so people can squirm and you squirmed like everyone else. Thank you so much for that. Um, Amantha, next question. What's the hardest thing about being a parent? I think it's it's seeing your child struggle with something and knowing that one of the best things that you can do is to not help them overcome it. Instead, you can I- empower them with the skills to get through it themselves. I really struggle with that. Mm, I love that answer, though. If you could spend an hour with your eight-year-old daughter, Frankie, at any age, what age would you choose and why? I think the... The older she gets, the more I just love our conversations. Uh, you know, the, the the things that she says, it's like that. Like, there's no one else that I would prefer to have a chat with than Frankie, even though she's eight. And I anticipate that that will get better and better. Maybe that will go for a dip in the teen years, but <laughs> um, I think if it continues on that trajectory. I think it would be pretty cool to chat to her when she's an adult. Okay, so which age? You haven't really answered the question. I haven't answered the question at all. I'm going to say maybe when she's my age, 44, I would love to see what she has done in her life. And when I'm older, I can't do the maths on the spot, but that would be kind of cool. What's the ultimate joy for you as a parent? It's seeing Frankie laugh and her sense of humour. She like no one makes me laugh like Frankie. I know this is supposed to be a lightning round, but I've got to add something here. Uh, one of my favourite answers to a question when when uh, I, I, every now and again I'll I'll do one of those um, rapid fire kind of things myself. And one person once said to me, "Favourite place in the world?" And I said, "Ah, oh, in my wife's arms." And 
And they said, oh, no, seriously, what's your favourite place in the world? I said, okay, right in the middle of a big belly laugh with my kids. And, and, and you've just kind of said that same, that same idea. Ultimate joy is just seeing your children happy. Oh, it's just beautiful. Anyway, I digress. We've got about five to go. Let's do it. Uh, this, one's a, this, one, this one is the hardest one. This is the hardest one. Are you ready? Yes. What's the right age for kids to have a mobile phone, Amantha? Can I rephrase that question to what's the right age for my daughter to have a mobile phone? Sure, go for it. <laughs> uh, well, I think as as a divorced parent, I felt like pr- about a year ago was when I gave Frankie a dumb phone. So it does nothing but make calls and send text messages because I felt it was important that if she was at my ex's house that she could still communicate with me if she wanted to. But in terms of a smartphone, uh, gosh, it's so hard because I feel like I'm talking without experience because I haven't experienced having a child who's older than eight. Yeah, but you've but got a psychology I, degree, right? You're a psychologist. Yeah. You know everything. Come on. Gosh, yeah. Look, I would think in terms of a smartphone, as late as possible. I mean, not a lot of good comes when you have a smartphone, I would say. Okay, that's not an age, but I'm going to accept it because time's running out, <laughs> clock's ticking. Uh, okay, last couple of questions. What's that thing that your parents always said that you swore you would never say, but it keeps popping out of your mouth? Oh, I'm a worry wart. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful of the monkey bars, Frankie. You might break your arm. Be careful doing this thing that all children should be doing, but I'm being a worry wart. That would be the thing. What's Frankie's favourite thing to do with you? Uh trade Pokemon cards would be up there. <laughs> and also at I, the moment. I playing, hate Pokemon. I, I know. I hate Pokemon. I, I don't do Pokemon. Uh, uh, I'm not a huge fan, but it's not on my don't list. Um, uh, and I do, I also, um, we, we at the moment we're playing a lot of Exploding Kittens. Right, um, which yes. Which is a card game, not an actual activity to do with cats. My, my kids have the same game and they love Exploding Kittens. Uh, what are you most looking forward to as a parent? I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of a woman Frankie grows into being. I, I'm I'm deeply curious and excited about that. Second last question. If you could go back to you as a young parent having one of those tough moments and being inexperienced, what advice would you give yourself? Stop setting your expectations so high. How are you going with that right now? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> <laughs> Need to take my own advice. Last question for you, Amantha Imber, the – uh, podcast host of How I Work. What has been your biggest win so far as a mum? I mean, divorce is never great for kids, but I think that my greatest win is just seeing how resilient Frankie has been in adapting um, over the last uh, nearly three years to having essentially two two separate lives, two separate houses, two separate sets of things. Um, and I'm just so, I'm just um, blown away by how amazing she has been during this thing that she did not ask to happen, but has happened in her life. Amantha Imber, thank you so much for joining me on the Happy Families podcast for a lightning round. <laughs> thank you and sorry for not being super lightning with some of those <laughs> answers. <laughs> Amantha Imber is the author of Time Wise and the host of the How I Work podcast. You can check it out wherever you listen to your podcasts. I highly recommend it. It's a load of fun. The Happy Families podcast is produced by Justin Rulon from Bridge Media. Craig Bruce is our executive producer. And for more information about making your family happy, you can visit us at happyfamilies.com.au. Hold up. 